Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial. So you're watching Mainframe DB2 Tutorial of Part 6. So in my last video I was explaining you about uh, different kinds of queries that is uh, subqueries, uh, nested subqueries and correlated subqueries. So in this uh, video I would like to tell you about how do we evaluate the SQL command. So it is which is very very important when you're working with the COBOL plus DB2 programs. So let's go ahead and see. So the SQL code is a DB2 supplied variable which will contain system defined numeric number that is generated by SQL statements when they are executed. So the possible written codes are 00, 100 or it might be many. So uh, today I would like to tell you I would like to focus on these two written codes. Uh, when it uh, SQL code written code 00 indicates that successful of the successful transaction. So if it is having hundred it indicates that row not found or an uh, end of the table or empty table so the important point over here is every SQL statement must be evaluated with if or evaluate statement immediate after your SQL statements so to use an SQL code we have an uh, system defined member SQL CA that need to be copied under the working storage section let's see another syntax how do we how do we code it so in working storage section just you have to say copy SQL CA and define the variables so these are extracted from this copy book so so if it is SQL code uh, SQL code with S904 comp and SQL state with picture class X of N now you start your SQL statements so as uh, you you'll be writing your query select EMP name from EMP where EMP number greater than 100 so this is a simple query just I'm trying to treat it so how do you uh, handle this situation uh, so how to evaluate these things so since we have declared the SQL code variable over here so um, if SQL if that SQL score written 0 0 I'm thinking that it is a successful transaction and uh, displaying a success message if it is if it is throwing 100 then it uh, may not be a row not uh, row, n row name may not be available or end of the table so any other uh, 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 any other cases I'm trying to display it as an error so Try closing this end up. That's simple. This is the way. This is the best way to start beginning. Beginning uh, when you write this COBOL DB2 practice. This is the best practice you need to do once you go on. So on online we have a variable set of a different kinds of written codes available on the. So if you if you go to Wikipedia, just type SQL code written codes. You have you can get various different kinds of SQL written codes over here, and it gives the the meaning of it. So, uh, when you write program, just you can handle those things. For example, if you're if you're if the, if it is giving a negative values, if you want to catch this exception, so you can you can write your code over here, and you catch this particular exception whenever you code it. So here you have uh, different kinds of errors error numbers here available so just you can just you can just simply wiki and you can use this when you program it okay in the same way uh, if you look at the insert query so you will uh, I'll be writing an insert query over here you just you handle the situation and the same way for update query so that's all uh, today in my today's video so in next video I would be uh, telling ab you about uh, uh, about uh, the declaration of host variables how do we actually uh, handle it uh, in order to connect with the DB2 table externally so we, we need to define uh, host variable members in our working storage section and uh, in uh, and retrieve the values from the DB2 so actually the variable defines at the I mean the fields defined at the DB2 table will be different and uh, and the variables which we define in our COBOL program will be different so it is it is it is handled by using as a host variable so I would be telling you more, uh, more I will be telling you in more details uh, where we use a DCL gen tool to in order to create those host variables or manually we create the copy book and we just call call those copy book using that one so so that's it for today's video and uh, thank you so much for watching this video if you have any uh, comment me on this video or if there is any better way to increase uh, my way of uh, expressing these things so please share me your comments I hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much have a great and pleasureful day